वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑन बेस्ट ऑफ आई पी एम दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आई पी एम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन क्यू ए शॉर्ट आंसर सेक्शन लुक एट द क्वेश्चन पॉज द वीडियो सॉल्व एन रोन एंड देन कम बैक फॉर द सोल्यूशन हेलो एवरी वन इफ यू लाइक अ कॉन्टेंट एंड वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस दी आई एम एस पेडोलॉजी देन ज्वाइन आर जीरो फी पेप प्रोग्राम दैट विल गिव यू एक्सेस टू कंसेप्ट वीडियोज सेक्शनल टेस्ट एंड फुल लेंथ मॉक टेस्ट and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning so in this particular question there are two equation given to me one is trigonometric equation and another is the modulus equation right so the best way to solve this question is start plugging in the values so if i assume x is equal to let's say if i say x is equal to 0 Okay. So what is sine of zero? Sine zero is zero, right? So basically, I will have sine y is equal to sine y, and if I put x is equal to zero here, y can be plus or minus one. So sine y is equal to sine of y. So which means y can be plus or minus one. Y can take both the values plus or minus one. now because the equation are symmetric i can say that y is equal to 0 and x is equal to plus or minus 1 will also satisfy so this are the four solution and most of the student make mistake and go ahead and mark the answer as 4 however if you see this is an ipm question it won't be so straight forward right so if you get the answer very quickly always think twice before moving ahead ki am i missing any possibility what if i assume x is equal to half and y is equal to half this will be one this will be sin half plus sin half and this will become sin of one so that's probably will not work out right what what if i assume x to be half and y to be minus half So this is still satisfying. This inequality still satisfying. What will happen here? So I'll have sine of half plus sine of minus half. Okay, and this will become sine of zero. Now, if sine of minus x is minus sine x, so this gets cancelled out. The left hand side gets cancelled out, and sine of zero is equal to zero. Right, so left hand side is zero, right hand side is also equal to zero. So this particular value satisfy, and again due to symmetry, x can be half and y can be, sorry, x can be minus half and y can be half. So here I have two solution. Here I have two solution. One solution, one solution. A total of six solution is what I have. So this is how you could have solved this question in exam. And now you can solve this particular question. and type your answer in the comment section and we will reward with the correct answer in next 24 hours